Welcome to Hong Kong. Good morning guys for our first real day in Hong Kong. Today we're starting out by wanting to go to the Bakehouse, uh, which is quite a famous little bakery place in Hong Kong. So I'm gonna try and come here first. Brogan's already in the queue, and that's just where we're gonna go. Good morning. We're How's gonna it going? get some egg tarts, aren't we? Yeah, that's gonna be good. I don't know how long this line will be though. Yes. Harvard is really busy here, as you can see, it's quite long already. Um, it's, what time is it? Nearly nine. Five to nine, so it opens at eight o'clock. I know a lot of people said if you're not yet before opening, you get big queues. But we're in no rush this morning, so we thought we'd just come have a chill with and see how it goes. Also, I might say the amount of bamboo scaffolding I've seen already is fantastic. Like, I just keep thinking, like, I'm gonna see, like, Jackie Chan, like, running up these things and, like, doing stunts. I've watched too much Rush Hour. So where we're staying is in Simja Zoo's TST. So we had to go all the way on the red line up to here and then down here. But yeah, it's dead easy to get around on the on the MRT, which is their underground system. It's yeah. really, really straightforward. It might look a bit confusing, but once you get used to it, you'll have it. No problem. The sun's come out for us as well. It's almost as if it was destined that we were going to be in a see-through cable car today, you know? Oh, I am a little bit nervous because I am, I don't really like heights at all, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, it looks pretty fun though, and we'll see how busy it is. It's, it's, it's really well signposted, uh, it's pretty straightforward how we get there. Like I said, you just follow the MRT signs, it's got a little cable car on the map as well, even if you couldn't figure that out. Like I said, just, we're walking to it now, there's loads of cable car signs everywhere, so... So we pre-purchased our tickets with Kluk before we came. Uh, you can buy them here on the day. I think they're around about the same price. They may be a little bit cheaper with Kluk, but uh, yeah, it looks like the queue, if you've pre-purchased the tickets, is longer than the queue if you haven't, so. Videos that we've watched also said that it makes it easier if you pre-purchase the tickets with Kluk, so it might just be 50-50 chance on the day on whether it's quicker or not. Yeah. I guess we'll see how quick we get on after we've redeemed our tickets. So we've redeemed our tickets and now we're just waiting to get on the crystal cabin. So you do have two different cabins you can choose from. You can either get the crystal or just the standard. The standard is just a regular cable car, whereas the crystal has a clear bottom. So you can get you can get a single or you can get a round trip there. So it is quite far away. So I imagine most of the time you're gonna be getting a round trip, but if you do for whatever reason just wanna go one way either if you're starting over on Laung Tao Island or if you're coming from here, you have that option. Did the glass cart come in this way um, and you can see everything you would have just seen all the footage from that I um, would definitely recommend doing the glass car yeah it's cool doing the glass car I mean like I don't think you realize how high up you are but it is pretty impressive when you get up there it's like you are very high up so we're in Nongping village now uh, which is on Lantau Island this is the little village uh, that you come through if you're going up to the big Buddha which is on top of the mountain 
you probably saw him in the distance in some of the footage just yeah. before. But you get off, you come through the gift shop and I don't know what this is for, but they've got some like big drums. Yeah, but taking their photos. there's quite a few different sort of food places around here yeah. that you can just get some snacks or you can get your lunch or tea here, depending on what time of the day you have. There's even a subway over there. So, you know, wow. you can get all sorts. If you're a picky eater, you don't like any Asian foods, then yeah, you can just get yourself a subway. But yeah, we're gonna have a little wander over to uh, Big Butter, but we do need to try our bakehouse goods. We're, we've been carrying around this for us for a good couple hours now. Because we, so we did get a couple of things from the bakehouse earlier. This is one of them. I've already taken a bite out of it because I was really hungry earlier on. Um, and it, I just had a little bite, you know, just savouring it. But we've got a sausage roll. We've got one sausage roll, two egg tarts, two donuts, and then a strawberry vanilla Danish, I think it was. So we'll try them all now and then we'll let you know what we think. But um, I'm quite excited. The strawberry danish and then there the egg tarts okay they're really good yeah, they're like they really nice. crunchy and flaky as well you can hear it yeah whenever we've seen these in videos i never really knew what they were going to taste like because they're called egg tarts and like for me eggs such a like weird taste like mm. i don't really have much of a taste but they're very like sort of custardy mm. i would say they're mainly custardy that's the main sort of flavor with like a sort of like flaky sort of pastry it's really nice Any good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then last but definitely not least, we also got a custard donut and a chocolate hazelnut donut as well. So yeah, we'll leave the ratings for them right here. So we've now been replenished by our big house goods and we're gonna have a little wander up to the Big Buddha, which is up here. But we've got to go through it's a pretty big gate and some statues as well, so... Oh, look! Is it, is it a bull or...? Yeah? <coughs> oh, oh like my cows. god! Oh, he's just chilling. Just a random bull, you know, just chilling, living life, enjoying the cool air. It is pretty cold, to be honest with you. I don't know if we mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, but it's about 20 degrees, but 20 degrees at home in the UK compared to 20 degrees here feels like two completely different things. Like it's actually a pretty cool breeze. Whereas 20 degrees at home, it's I'm sweating. Here we are to the entrance of the stairs up to the Big Buddha. It's pretty impressive, like. It looks like there's quite a few stairs, so we'll have to get up there, but no, that's, that's really cool. Oh, it looks amazing. So, to get up with the tour, you have to climb up all these steps first. You have to climb up 10,000 stairs. <laughs> it's alright. It feels like I'm pulling Kung Fu Panda right now. <laughs> you know if you know. We made it. Even if this giant butter wouldn't convince you to come up here, which it definitely should, this absolutely fantastic view from the top should. I mean, wow. You can see all the islands of Hong Kong. And we've got like a decently clear day today, so you can see it in the distance, but it's a fantastic view from up here. Definitely worthwhile doing. Oh, it's like a full experience though, isn't it? You yeah. know, doing the non pay 360 cable car is good enough in itself just to have that experience of doing it. Yeah. But having this at the end of it where you get to see this you know, amazing statue and this fantastic view is really, really something cool. So we've just gotten back down the stairs from the Tian Tan Giant Buddha. And it's really interesting to be fair. I didn't realize it was actually kind of like a monastery inside as well. So there's quite a lot of, um, you know, areas that, you know, a Buddhist could go to and pay their respects to someone or anything like that. So it's really cool. You can go inside. Uh, you're not allowed to take photographs or record inside, but it's well worth doing. Uh, you just go for free, you don't have to pay anything. So yeah, that yeah. was really good. And there's a lot more information inside as well about 
like this whole place and the Buddha itself. So if you want to learn a bit more about it. Yeah. So we're just heading over to the monastery now as well. There is a monastery um, on Lantau Island. This is Paulin Monastery. Exciting. So we've decided just to come back on the uh, Nothing 360 cable car now because it's raining quite heavy actually. So we were going to stop for some food. There are quite a few restaurants in Nongkun village, but we thought we'd just head back into Hong Kong and maybe get some food there. There's a couple of places that we want to try. Yeah. But what's cool is, is that obviously, as you probably saw on the way here, uh, I, said, I didn't really want to talk too much because we were in a car with six other people. Uh, so we just to get some footage, but we've actually got a one to ourselves, which is pretty cool on the way back. Um, so we can talk a little bit and you know just chill, which is pretty cool because it feels like when you're in with eight people, like it's crowded, snug. it's snug. Yeah. It's not like but it, you've got enough space. Yeah, you've got enough space. It doesn't feel like you kind of ran over, but it it's still nicer when you've just got two people. So yeah, it yeah. is. It is. So what do you think of what do you think of this experience, Nanking 360? Really cool, actually. Um, I think it's really good. I would recommend it to anybody and suggest that you actually come. Um, I mean, you can see the Big Buddha in the background. So you've got the Tiantan, I think it is, Big Buddha, and then you've got Poland Monastery there. But Poland Monastery is a lot bigger than what I expected it to be. There's quite a few temples that you can have a little walk around. Um, and then you've got all the food shops and slightly like, shopping on the walk back to the cable cart as well. Um, so it's quite a big area and we've spent from 10 o'clock to half one now so you can do it in half a day i think you could definitely spend longer there um if you want to uh, like we say because the weather's turned a bit not the best we'll decide just to call, sort of come away and get head back into hong kong but you could definitely easily spend three four hours um the non 360 cable car runs currently between 10 till 6. no definitely do it um and yeah, well, we'll see you back in Hong Kong for wherever we decide to go get some food. See you in a bit. Bye. Oh, oh, are they going to do it? Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> So we're going to go to a place called Yumcha, which is kind of like a chain dim sum place. Uh, there was a one on Google Maps, which said it was right next to our hotel, literally just a probably a couple minute walk away. And we were having a look for it, we could not find it to save our lives. So we went into the place where we thought it was, and the guy said it's actually been closed for a little over a month now, but they just haven't updated it on Google Maps. Pasta Bakery on our way back, and it was called Lock Tin Cafe. And we grabbed these. So we're in the window and we've got an egg tart, which I'm sorry, I already had to have a bite record and we went for a pineapple bun. They had a couple of different options with pork ones or pineapple buns with butter, but we've just gone for a, a normal one and it's still quite warm as well. We went it's, for the original classic and yeah. Brogan, like she said, she's already had a bite of this. So I'll, um, I'll have a quick bite and let you think what I, what I think of it. The actual like flavor of that, the tart itself, isn't the best. Yeah. I guess the ones fan. from the bakehouse are probably more like Portuguese tarts yeah. than, I don't know if that, this might be more like a traditional egg tart, but. Yeah, we'll have to try, we'll have to try, we'll have to try it from elsewhere as well. Yeah. And let's try some of this. Wow, it's crumbly, Jesus, okay. It's like crispy on the top, but looks soft on the bottom. 
it's really strange like the bread on the bottom is like a like a bread bun in the uk like a just a bun but the top's like quite crispy quite flaky it's very it's very sweet it's like quite sweet it's nice bread and sweetness what's better than that <laughs> All right, so another quick update from us. We were looking for a yum chair in Hong Kong, but it turns out that there actually isn't any. That was the only one that was meant to be here of that chain. So we're not 100% sure whether we're going to do dim sum or not. We might just go get some duck or some goose tonight. So we're having a little think, and then we're going to head back out. Um, so yeah, that kind of put a spanner in the works, but we'll, we'll make do. We'll find somewhere else to go. So we've left the hotel and got the MTR over to Hong Kong Island and we decided we can get food over this side and we've come to the Palms Roast Goose. That's it there. It's meant to be renowned for being a really good roast goose with rice. Yeah, apparently they do really good roast goose, rice, duck, char siu, all the good stuff here. So we're gonna, we've got a ticket. Everyone is waiting outside, so we'll see what happens. We'll see how long it takes, I don't know. Okay, so we made it in and out. Goose is already here. We've got half a goose. One and a half goose. We didn't quite know what to do or expect, so we bought the ticket in line wait in line, came in, and then you get the menu. They sort of bring you the dug out because they asked how much of a dug we wanted. Goose. Oh, goose, sorry. <laughs> Before we came in. Um, so they brought that straight away whilst we get drinks and sides. Yeah, it's kind of chaotic in here, so yeah. we'll explain in a bit. <laughs> so we've got a couple of sides as well. We've got some white rice each, and then we've got some... Cucumber. Cucumber, yeah. So yeah, we're making our way through it. It's a big goose, so... Uh, yeah, no, it's really nice so far though. What really do you think? Good. Really good. The only thing is like, I don't know what quite in my head. I didn't think it would have bones in it, but it does. So you just have a year around it. Yeah, we're just we're too we're too posh in that we don't have meat with bones on. So it's it's already deboned for us. But no, it's really nice, really tasty. No, really good. Yeah. So we've just finished our meal at Cam's Roast Goose and. Yeah, it was really nice. The goose was really yeah, nice, really to be good. fair. It was really tasty. It's it's pretty chaotic in there, but I think it's kind of quite common for like Hong yeah. Kong restaurants. I think it's the kind of style where they get you in as quick as possible and you just kind of eat what you have as quickly as possible. High turnover. Yeah. feels quite chaotic, but the food is good. I think party is so. so chaotic because it's such a popular place and it's got a Michelin guide like star. Um, so everybody wants to go, everybody wants to try it at the moment. Yeah, but it's, it's definitely uh, good. I would definitely recommend it if you're yeah. thinking about getting any uh, goose stuff, chicken, I don't know, they do all sorts. So. Yeah. The goose and um, I got the cucumber as well. Like I know it's cucumber, but it was really good as well. Yeah, so at the minute we're obviously back in Kowloon. The sun is set, we're at night time now. And uh, we're going to go check out the symphony of lights on the bay because it's meant to be a pretty impressive sight so we're going to do that it starts at eight o'clock every single night it's quarter past seven at the minute so we'll have a little bit of time before it begins so before we go to the avenue of stars we've popped into k11 museum which is a shopping mall right next to it pretty much and it is really cool in here look at that it's pretty fancy but yeah we're just gonna have a little wander around because it looks like there's a Butter shop. There's a butter cake shop. It Ooh. looks like it's quite like. <laughs> Frog is like falling over. It looks like it's quite like designery in here. Like a lot of like designer shops. Um, so probably nothing that we can afford, but. Yeah, mine know. just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you want to have a nice little look, it's really pretty in here. If you're just wandering around, you've got your time spare, come check it out. It's completely changes from day to night as well. Like all the lights, so lit up the whole skyline. I just sat here watching it on the other side of us right now. Yeah, so I think we'll just stop talking and we'll let you see it. And we'll check back in with you tomorrow for day three in Hong Kong. See you later. Good night.